It was another deadly afternoon in Baltimore, a fatal shooting and a body found near railroad tracks. All this comes as police are working to curb the violence. WJZ is live. George Solis with the details and reaction today from the governor and the mayor. George? Yeah, that's right, Mary. The death toll continues to climb here in the city. As far as that body that was found at the railroad tracks, that cause of death is still under investigation tonight. And as you mentioned, WJZ did catch up with the mayor and the governor, who say more help is on its way to the city. A surge in violence in Baltimore City that appears to be running rampant. Thursday night and day, police putting up crime tape. Midday, a man in his 20s shot and killed in the 4100 block of Cranston Avenue. Officers from the Southwest District were deployed in the community when they heard gunshots coming from this area. Earlier in the day, homicide detectives called after a body was found near railroad tracks in northwest Baltimore. Mayor Catherine Pugh says the bloodshed is being fueled by a drug war in the city. Thursday, alongside the governor, she addressed how the state and city are collaborating to curb the sustained violence and rising body count. The fact of the matter is that there's been a lot of neglect over the decades, um, but we're working together to make sure we address those issues. Governor Hogan says the state has and continues investing resources into Baltimore. We just got federal approval for a strike force, uh, which is only the third one in the nation, to bring in uh, 12 different federal agencies. It's going to be in, uh, open by the end of the year. Interim Police Commissioner Gary Tuggle has also moved 230 officers off desk duty and onto the streets. There are going to be a number of things that don't get done, but right now, patrol is a priority. Addressing this crime is a priority. Anti violence activists say even with more than a dozen shootings in the last 72 hours, now is not the time to lose hope. Things are going to get better. In my lifetime, I believe they're going to get better. Baltimore ceasefire founder Erica Bridgeford says that change, however, falls on everyone. But we just all have to do whatever you think is the thing that needs to be fixed in the city. You can't keep saying what they should do. You have to realize that you are they. And when all of us do that, we're going to start seeing the kind of results that we want to see. Now, top city officials have repeatedly said that there is a shortage of officers in the city, which is why they say this is now an all-hands-on-deck effort. Anyone with information about today's shooting or any other crime is urged to contact police. Live outside Baltimore City Police Headquarters tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ.